For today's video, I thought I would talk about what I'm doing for my next mod, Halo 4 Mythic Overhaul. This won't be super edited or anything, I'm just gonna throw up some super early gameplay of the mod in the background and ramble about some stuff I'm doing with the mod. Alright, first thing to talk about is that I'm taking the Halo Wars 2 style approach to what gets added into the mod, so I'll be using a mixture of Bungie and Reclaimer era designs for stuff. If you've played my other mods, you've already seen me do this with the Bungie games, and it'll be no different here. Speaking about bringing over Bungie era designs, since Halo 4's engine is basically reaches under the hood, a lot of tags can be dragged over. The only things I would have to remake are shaders and some effects tags. So this means I'll be able to bring tags that I worked on for Reach Mythic Overhaul into Halo 4. Also, since Halo 2 Anniversary is built on the Halo 4 engine, I can also bring those tags in as well. Halo 4 Mythic Overhaul is definitely going to be my most diverse mod content-wise I've made, and I'm going all in on that. So something I'm doing with the Elites for Halo 4 is that I'll have two different types of Elites. One will be the Reclaimer Elites using a simplified rank structure and H2A armor split between the ranks. The other will be the Reach Elites from my Reach mod, so you might see me play some shield carrying sword zealots. Alright, let's get into some more general stuff that I'm going to be bringing over from my Reach mod into Halo 4. Basically, if it was a new feature in my Reach mod, I'm going to be bringing it in. Things like ammo packs, new weapons, weapon variants, reworked AI, new encounters, new wildlife, new terminals, new enemies, more blood and gore, bloom changes, new armor abilities, more vehicles, and probably a lot more that I'm forgetting right now. It's no surprise that people have a lot of issues with Halo 4, so this will be my most extensive mod yet. On the topic of new content though, I also want to see if I can restore a bit of cut content, because man does Halo 4 have a lot of it. Just digging around in the mod tools tag folders, you can find cool stuff like a teleport and hacking armor ability, or a scrapped covenant vehicle that's similar to the Spectre. So yeah, to wrap things up, it might take me a while before this mod is playable, but since tags from Reach and H2A can easily be moved over, that definitely speeds up the process. Also, major shout out to Crisp for making the Blender plugin for Reach, Halo 4, and H2A mod tools. Without him, I wouldn't have made my Reach mod or this Halo 4 mod, so he deserves a huge shout out. But anyways, that's pretty much it for me. See ya. Thank you.